Hello, I'm Natalie Tyler, a PhD student in the Water and Environmental Research Center at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this presentation, I will briefly discuss my work with using Spaceborne Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, to detect methane super seeps in Alaskan lakes. Previous studies have shown that methane produced by microbes in lake sediments is measurable with SAR. In the winter season, the bubbles produced by these methane seeps become trapped in the lake ice and are visible as very bright or high backscatter features in SAR imagery. The more bubbles there are, the higher the backscatter. However, this approach was not targeting very large methane seeps that are often associated with geologic methane sources. For example, hydrocarbons, coal bed methane, buried glacial organics, and methane clathrates. These large seeps or super seeps are considered rare and bubble rapidly enough to maintain large open holes in otherwise thick winter ice. So I set out to quantify super seeps using SAR in three Alaskan regions, Utkjalvik, Atkusuk, and Noatak. To do this, I used the backscatter from previously ground true super seeps to train my method for detecting similar features across the landscape. These training seeps are visible perennially in l SAR imagery, providing multiple years of data to use in this analysis. My end product shows how often a pixel showed up as a potential super seep. For example, the bottom left image is how one of the training seeps appears in the end product. The red pixels showed up in all four years of available data. The morphology or shape of this SAR detected feature is also very comparable to very high resolution optical imagery, which was used to validate some of our results. When comparing regional results to aerial survey work from 2012, this method detected over 10 times the previous density estimate for super seeps in northern Alaska. Overall, there may be more super seeps in Alaskan lakes than previously thought.